what's up raw bags and today i'm giving you very much raw y'all we are back with another banger we're back with another raw tutorial that my raw bangs really requested on ig at lachey's glams they're like lachey we really want you to do this look you always doing it's a smoky brown naked beat so here we go with our beautiful model so today we're going in with noxzema wipes that should be your first step is to wipe down your client's skin to avoid any breakouts and you want to start with a clear base and then i'll go in to use the nyx pencil in the shade espresso and also to prep her brows i clipped them off camera and i went in with the dual lash glue so i use dual lash glue as a hack to make her eyebrows long lasting to have that luminous look and also just to lay down those brow hairs a little bit more easier and then i just go in to lightly fill in So off camera ladies, I went in and finished her brows. I also went with this um, NYX Lift and Snatch pen. I love it so much, it's very convenient. If you guys want to darken up the brows, and you feel like the pencil just wasn't doing it, grab this, you guys can go to your nearest Ulta. I love it and over love it. I just love it so much. But here you go, I'm going in with the concealer. Today we're using Elf Hydrating Concealer. I love Elf products. And we're going in with Deep Chestnut. This is one of my go-tos, um, these Elf concealers.
now we're going to shape up the top of her brows so your goal is to make the brows look natural if you see that the brows are a little bit too thicker than what your client came in with you need to conceal those brows and go down a little bit more on those brows um so i'm going in with her foundation shade and i'm making sure that i go closer to the hairs Off camera, I apply some more concealer onto her lids just to prep. And now we're going to set that concealer with the Airspun Translucent Powder. This is to just avoid any creasing when it comes to the lids. It's a very good prep and also to help the shadows pop and be more pigmented. So I'm pretty sure one of y'all have the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. This is a very normal palette. You guys can get it from Ulta. And if you got this, this is a holy grail. So, I'm gonna be honest that you guys can see the only shade that I use from this is the brown. Um, <laughs> the other shades are good, but these days, the girls don't get colorful looks. They get more of naked, natural, celebrity looks. So, I just always use the brown. So, the brown was the first shade I went in with, and I just started to blend that into her crease, and also to blend towards the front of her eyebrows, just to get prepared for the nose contouring. Um, but I also love, love, love this brown shade. You guys can use this shade for any skin tone, honestly. Just make sure that you prep those lids so it can be very pigmented. Now you're getting ready to smoke it up. So we're going in with a Morphe bronzer in the shade Coco Wool. And I love Morphe bronzers. You can also use a bronzer from their 8D Morphe palette. Use the darkest one. So this is a smoky brown look. So you'll be using two shades. One that's lighter, one that's darker. And as you guys can see, I use that shade a lot. So I need to go get some more. But yes, I love to just smoke it up and I just pat that on her lid and blend it also towards her eyebrow area. Off camera, I popped her on some lashes, and now it's time to prime the skin. I went with the Milk Grip Primer, and then now I'm going with one of my favorite foundations, which is the Longwear NARS, and this is in the shade New Caledonian. And I love this technique, and I want you guys to try it. I go in with doing swatches on the skin. I feel like it's better, and also just to show you guys the color match. Sometimes your face can be lighter than your body. Sometimes your face can be darker than your body. Um, I tell people just to always look at the neck and the chest. Um, so this can look very light right here, but you guys can see when it's blended in, girl, and it oxidizes, it goes on very well to her skin. And ladies, please do not forget to bring that foundation down to your client's neck. I tell people all the time, you may have a client that have hyperpigmentation 
Or even like, um, for example, when some women get pregnant, like my sister, her neck uh, was very, very dark. So I tell people, bring down that foundation to the neck just so everything can look as one. That could be all one skin tone. And I just really prefer you guys to always make sure and don't forget. So I went in with two shades of concealer, ladies. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer. I went with Deep Caramel and Deep Chestnut. Now it's time to bring some definitions to my client's skin. We're gonna go in with some e.l.f. Camo Concealer. This is also in the shade Rich Ebony, which is one of my favorites and my go-tos for my darker skin ladies. And I love it, I over love it so much. Um, I tell you guys, don't always think you have to purchase a contour stick. You can use concealer, girl, you gotta make it work. You can use foundation, just as long as it's the right shade. So always make sure your concealer is two shades lighter than your original skin tone just to bring a highlight for the features of the face, like especially underneath the eye. I love a bright under eye. And then also make sure for your contour, it's at least two shades darker than the original skin tone. So right here, I'm showing you guys how to smash that nose. And also we're gonna blend out on her cheekbones and also her jawline.
sorry ladies i forgot to film it but i did want her under eyes to be a little bit more brightened so i went in with the nars ready creamy concealer and the shade caramel Now I'm going to set the face with some Laura Mercier in the shade Honey. And then for the remaining of her face, we're going to go in with Laura Mercier in the shade Deep Medium. So a lot of you guys ask me why do I go in with two different powders. Um, you want to always keep the areas that are brightened, brightened, and for the rest of the face make sure it's their original skin tone. So that's why underneath her eye I went in with the Laura Mercier Honey and then for the darker Laura Mercier um, Medium Deep I wanted to set the remaining of her face. Now I had a post on Instagram where we were talking about dewy makeup and matte makeup. So if you want your clients to be matte, you have to make sure that you're setting the entire face. When they go out or when they go to little events, you do not want the makeup to transfer. So just make sure you set the face before you allow your clients to leave. Now it's time to set her cream contour. We're going in with the bronzer for Morphe, which is the same one we use for her eyes. And I know my voice sounds crazy, y'all. I'm getting over a little cold, so please bear with me. But after you go in to chisel up the face and bring more color into your client's face, then you'll go in with one of your favorite blushes. The blush I used today was from the Morphe 8D palette. Um, I tried to show it, but it was blurry. But yes, I, that's one of my favorite palettes of blush. If you guys have any other blushes you want me to try, please let me know. I know Juvia's Place has good blushes too. Um, I also have a video on Instagram where it's like a rail or you guys can check out TikTok. And it's my most recommended products I want you guys to try. Make sure you have those in your kit as well. And yeah. Now it's time to structure out her features. We're going in to snatch that nose. This method is very important. If you want your clients to transform, this method is very, very important. Um, her cheekbones, I'm making them high. I'm bringing structure to them. Also her nose, I'm snatching that nose. In Miami, we call it COVID-19 nose. You know, we call it Michael Jackson nose. You know, that nose has to be snatched, most definitely. But yes, y'all, so these are the two recommended powders. If you guys want to purchase them, always go to your nearest Sephora or Ulta. 
Now we're going in, and I went in with one of my favorite lip liners. This lip liner is in the shade Dark Brown from Ruby Kisses. And I over love hair store products. Um, for the nude, I went in with the Morphe Nude Lipstick. This is in the shade Virgin, and I popped it on with some hair store gloss. Y'all gotta get that hair store gloss because hair store gloss by Broadway at the hair store is top tier. Now it's time to blend out everything, make everything seamlessly smooth. And now I'm going to go on with my favorite press powder. This is the MAC Press Powder MAC Studio Fix. And I went with NW44. That is to keep the under eye brighten. And then I also went with NW50. That's to keep the remaining of the face, her original skin tone. I cannot see life without this setting spray. I try other setting sprays, and I remember I used to show you guys how I use other setting sprays, but I'm not gonna lie, setting sprays matter, you know? And I just can't live without it. So right here, I'm going in with some highlighter. This is the Gold Deposit by MAC. And then off camera, I'm gonna blend out a little bit more before we start with the pictures and videos. But yes, I like to go in and highlight. Um, I'm real crazy about some highlighter. Especially snatching that nose, it brings a whole different look. For the ones who don't like highlighter, I understand you, but for that nose, that has to be highlighted, you know? Also, we did her mascara off camera, and y'all, this is the finishing look. She looks so gorgeous, and I just, listen, y'all, when you move around your lights in your studio, because I have so many lights, I try to move around so you guys can really see how she really looks you know it's very different than what the camera can pick up but she was a dark skinned barbie and i really wanted to show you guys how to kill this look this is the everyday look a brown smoky glam and i hope you guys love it make sure you guys see that notification bell you guys are the first ones to get notified whenever i post make sure you follow me on all platforms at the shade slams and i cannot wait to put you guys on one if you guys are new to the family welcome this is the page where you will learn all the gems i love you guys so 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 much i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you comment down below to see what else i'm gonna post and i love you guys Mwah.